Hey guys, Zach here, and I'm back looking at some dice this time. These are the wizard set dice from Polyhero Dice, which is part of Game Salute. <laughs> I got in contact with these guys a while ago because they have a they had a game come out that was called Storm Hollow, which is a really beautiful looking game. It's a role playing game like D and D or something. I saw it at Gen Con and. They had the, like, deluxe Kickstarter edition you could have bought there that was, like, I think, like, 20 pounds for the box. And it had, like, four hard pound books and all these crazy crystals and beautiful maps and everything. I couldn't buy them, but it was beautiful. So I got in contact with them afterwards, and uh, they don't have any copies of that game to send out anymore. But one of the new products that was coming out, and they wanted me to take a look at them. Um, there's been one other set before these. The, there was the Warrior set that they made before these. It was on Kickstarter. I saw it shared everywhere. Um, my d, d friends actually saw them and pointed it out to me a long time ago. Uh, I saw them all over Reddit, all that stuff. The ones before this were for Warriors, so it had, like, swords, and the D20 was a shield, and it had, like, gauntlets for the for the D8s, I think. Um, but this is wizard-themed. This is kind of more up my alley. <laughs> I like playing magic users in role-playing games, and I think in, a, in my current campaign that I'm DMing for, let's see, one, two, three, four, four of the five people use magic, so um, these are going to be presents for them, and they are going to get a kick out of these, because they've never seen these before. But what we got here, I have three different complete sets to show you, which are just different colors. I have the Wizard Stone and Mystic Rune set. It's kind of purple and turquoise. We got Dragonfire and Brimstone, Translucent Red, which is beautiful, and yellow. Then we have Shadow and Demon's Eye, which is like a smoky, shiny black and red. And then we also have the D20 Wizard Hat, which is ridiculous. It's in that same awesome uh, Translucent Red. Uh, the Warriors one was a shield. That looks just like this without the pointy hat, obviously. Uh, but for the wizards, they get a wizard hat, of course. And then they also sent me Knife Fight. Which is... Oh, I could have been showing you this the whole time. <laughs> this is the warrior set I was talking about. This is a really simple card game they made for the w warrior set of dice. But they can work with any set of polyhedral dice, as you can see here. It's a really simple, just fighting game that you can use dice for. They sent it to me too, just show off to you guys. You see, it's two plus players, and it has three to four battle arena rules, and it's five minutes to play. Just a quick thing. I could probably throw this into my D D game as like an actual game in the world they play or something, like at a tavern or something. But we'll take a look at that too. But first of all, I want to look at these. Okay, first thing, just to get it out of the way. Let's look at this wizard hat. I guess Dragon and Brimstone is actually the color, because <laughs> that's the same thing that the other dice say. Uh, on the back, it just says collect dice for Fable Tabletop Roll Games. Play Hero Dice, got their Facebook and their Twitter there. And yeah, you can go to the website and see all the other dice sets and stuff they have. And speaking of, um, if you go to their website, you can get a full set for $20, I believe. Um, but then they have also have a bunch of different bundle packs you can get. Like, for d and I think it's four or five D6s that you use, you use for, like, Fireball and all that. They actually have bundles of them that are, like, specific two spells to buy. So if you, like, use Fireball a bunch, you can just buy that bundle, and it has just the dice you need to do the Fireball spell, which is cheaper than just getting a $20 set. So it's really cool. Go on there, because they have a bunch of different things you can buy. And, of course, there'll be links in the description. But let's get this guy out. Oh, whoops, I shouldn't destroy this. It's a little resealable bag. Whoops. There we go, that's a lot easier. And... Ha <laughs> ha look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. It really does look like candy, doesn't it? It's kind of got like a Beyblade shape, almost. <laughs> it's got a little nub on the bottom. Little hat on top, and... Just got all the numbers inside, so... I'm guessing you're... Yeah, <laughs> definitely spins really well. I guess you could just, like, spin it for a super long time, like, as a timer for them to do something, maybe. <laughs> then as it stops. Kind of like an hourglass kind of thing. And there we go. So that landed on 13, as you can see there. <laughs> that landed on 7. So, I mean, I guess you could 
well, <laughs> you can't really just roll it. You have to, you can just kind of spin it, or I guess just kind of flick it, really. And there's a 12. Uh, there's a, another 12. So, yeah. It's not super useful, but it's definitely fun and thematic, which is the point, I believe. <laughs> but yeah, that's really cool. Definitely using that. So, let's see, you've got three sets here. Let's look at the Shadow and Demon's Eye first, because that's the first one I grabbed. Alright. Ooh, these feel, these feel really nice, actually. Alright, so, what do we got? We have the D20 Orb, which is this guy here. I guess this is supposed to be like your all-seeing orb kind of thing, like a chromatic orb or whatever. <laughs> That's really, really nice. And the numbers look cool, um, but they're still pretty easy to tell what it is at a glance. So like here. There you go, it's 12. <laughs> got an 8. Got a 3. That's really cool, and it's huge too. Um, that was That's one thing you can't use it with. You can't really use it with a dice tower. Um, but again, that's not the point. <laughs> the point this the point is it's supposed to be thematic and fun to actually roll with, not let your dice tower do the rolling. But yeah, that's gorgeous. And then we have this is the D twelve. This is a wand, I believe is what they call it. So <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the top and that's your wand. So how does this work? Oh, okay, so only one side is actually up, so there's eleven. So I guess it's two D twelve. <laughs> Technically. There's a five. Or no, there's only six sides in each one of this, isn't it? Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> six sides on this side, six sides on that side. There's a one. So you literally roll it. There's a six. <laughs> That's really cool. Alright, and then we got... I believe this is the fireball. There's a, yeah, this looks like a fireball. <laughs> I love the look of this. Uh, I guess this is a D6? Yeah, D6, of course. You roll a bunch of D6 for fireballs, so you just roll a handful of these off camera. And there you go, you got a three. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, we got two different potions. This looks like a D10. Yep, it's a D10. Actually has the little, like, cork uh, material around the handle of the bottle there, and the actual cork on top. <laughs> it's so cool. And yep, it rolls very well. <laughs> then we got a a big potion for what is that a twelve? No, that's a is that another ten? That's another ten it looks like. So two D tens. Oh yeah, of course. You get two because uh you're supposed to have one like a D ten and a D one hundred you combine it with to make one hundred. I guess that's why this one has dots. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. You roll them together for a D100, and, like, the dots is the 10 number, so, like, there we go. What do we got? We got a 57. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to be. Like, it makes more sense. Okay. Then we have a D8 scroll. That looks really nice. Looks kind of like a rolling pin, but all scrolls do. And, yep, that rolls just fine, too. And then we have a D4 potion. It's like a vial, is what I would call it. <laughs> or maybe some kind of, like, arcane dagger. It's supposed to be a potion bottle or something. But that's really cool. I actually really like that, too. The warrior one has daggers, I believe. Yeah, it's pretty close in design to the dagger. <laughs> uh, but our rogue would love little D4 daggers, because she uses her daggers all the time. That is so cool. I actually might like the D4 the most. I love all of them. No, I can't decide. <laughs> okay, so let's get all this trash out of here. So that was the... What was it called? Shadow and Demon's Eye. Here's the Wizard Stone and Mystic Runes. <laughs> wow, these are shiny. These are much shinier than the other one. Oh, those look so good, and those num those colors go so well together. The numbers really pop off of it. Oh, look at the fireball. Look at all the... It actually has, like, the swirl in the plastic. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, man. I would have assumed the, the black and red would be my 
favorite because that's what I always pick, but man. Oh, I love the swirling in there. It looks so good. Oh man, all of our... We have three girls in our party and they're going to fight over these, I'm pretty sure. Oh man. Yeah, I love the colors on this one. Oh, that's gorgeous. But yeah, they work <laughs> just the same as all the other ones. Oh, they, they even sound nice, like... <laughs> they don't sound like normal plastic. Oh, those are really nice. Okay, let's, let's take a look at these last ones real quick. The Dragonfire and Brimstone, same as the hat. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> these actually... You know they're the same exact thing because this is so thin? I don't know, like, this, these look really nice. They look different, than, they look like a different kind of plastic, even though I'm sure they're the same. Oh, man. It actually, this actually has a swirl in the design. You can see it, like, coalescing at the top there. <laughs> oh, that's so cool! Oh, these are so gorgeous. And I love the translucent, too. If there's some way to combine the translucent with the swirly, which I think is impossible, <laughs> but if they could do that, I would have like the perfect dice set. Oh, these look so good. Oh yeah, these are nice. I love this D20. Like I might let them fight over all of this and I'll keep this D20 for myself. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Okay, so we got all those awesome, awesome dice. And then we have this whole game to look at real quick. <laughs> Let me rip this open and look at the rolls and I'll get right back with you. Wow, okay. Uh, so there was a lot more to that than I thought. <laughs> so this is actually like a whole game. So there's a bunch of rule cards inside. I kind of have them all out of order right now. But here's the gist of it. So it uses terms as if you're using the warrior set. So it'll be kind of confusing if you're using this set or regular dice, but it's not that hard to understand. You can just keep this card next to you. Uh, the D4s are daggers, so that one's pretty easy to remember because these are very dagger-shaped. A D6 is a sword. Uh, a D8 is a mace. A D12 is a helmet. The D20 is the shield. And then your two D10s are your gauntlets. So basically, the way you play the game is you have two people, up to four, but two people usually. You take all of your dice and you put it in your offhand or your non-rolling hand. And then each turn, you both secretly choose uh, one die, some dice, or no die, and roll them. And whoever gets the higher number, if you're attacking, for instance, like, uh, where'd it go? Cheat sheet, there it is. <laughs> so here's the things you can do. If you roll a shield or a one weapon, uh, you're defending. If you roll one gauntlet and the weapon, you're attacking. If you just roll one gauntlet, you're jostling, and if you roll nothing, you get to rally and get dice back. So, let me show you everything else before I go more into this. There's also battle arena cards, which are just there, which are just there if you're playing three to four players. They're arrows that point towards who you have to attack, and you get to change it, I believe, every turn. And then there's a favor of the crowd uh, card that gives you plus two to attack with, which you get by attacking first, I believe? And then you have the knight cards. So everyone picks a knight card to use. And they have health on the side here. And they have a little reminder icon down here um, for what dice you have to roll to use their power, because there's powers in this game. Uh, these are also the, all the different colors that the warrior set came in. So amber, black, copper, green, gray, purple, red, and white. And then on the back is a squire. So when you start the game, you pick one squire from cards you're not using, and either randomly pick a knight or just pick one yourself. So you have both of those. And then when you start the game, you roll your helmet, which is your d12, which would be uh, the wand in this case. So you roll it. I got a three, that's not good. <laughs> and then you put it next to these hearts on the side. And that's your defense. That's the number they have to meter beat to hit you each round. So every time I get hit, I have to move this down. So now I have two hearts left, one heart left, and then I'm out of the game. Three hits and you're done. And then 
if we go back to this, uh, so you can defend. So if you choose, let's say for instance, I just want to defend, so I'm just going to use the dagger, which is d4. I'd roll it, and I would add whatever I roll to my defense, and they have to try and beat that that round. And for instance, if I wanted to attack, that would be rolling a, uh, that'd be rolling a d10 or a gauntlet and another weapon. So not the d12 because that's my health. <laughs> so it would be like a d10 and an a d6. So I would be hitting for is that 14. So I'd have to try and beat their defense. 14 probably beats it. And if I beat it, then I score a hit. And if I roll a gauntlet, I can attempt to change their defense. If if I roll lower than their defense, I get to re-roll their die. Or if they chose to defend that round, I get to put it on their squire. If you roll nothing, you get to get all the dice off your squire and use them again. And you just keep going back and forth until you hit someone three times, basically. Actually, it sounds really fun. I'm definitely going to use this in our campaign as like a bar game for them to play with. Uh, but all the knights have different powers you can use, which relate to the different types of die. It's actually really cool. Didn't think it would be that involved. And then the other thing that's in this is freaking magical items. <laughs> So you can see magic items. Uh, you can optionally use these. You can randomly get one or pick one before you start the fight. And they do different things based on the die. Like score a hit. They can no longer pick up gauntlets during the regather step. Uh, just all kinds of crazy stuff. And they all relate to the die too. So there's the gauntlet. There's the dagger, the gauntlet, the helmet, the mace, the shield, and the vorpal blade. So cool. It's a lot more involved than I thought, and I actually really like it. I'm absolutely going to use this in our campaigns. That's awesome. And you can pick that up for $5 on their website right now, too. That's really fun. I really recommend that, putting that in your D&D &D games. All right. I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you again, GameSloot, for sending me these dice early. Check them out. And for the night fight game. That's hilarious and awesome. I'm definitely using that. And like I said before, if you guys want to pick them up or go to their website and check out the different bundles they have, there's a link in the description like always. And that's it. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.